China is on the verge of cracking the US's NVIDIA monopoly. Behind the scenes, Americans are panicking, and that is why they issued an insane order a few days ago saying that no one anywhere in the world is allowed to use the Huawei Ascend microchip. That seems crazy, but the US has a long record of what's called extraterritorial application of laws. They argue that they have a legal right to control use or sales of anything anywhere in the world that may have an American element in its development history. Now, what's got the US so worried? Has Huawei managed to make their own NVIDIA level chips? Not yet, not quite anyway, but they've come very close with some smart thinking and some high tech innovation of their own. Here's the story. Once upon a time, a man invented a super powerful processor uh, that could be used to power AI functions. He called it the NVIDIA GB200 NVL72. What a catchy name. But the rulers of his land were megalomaniacs who wanted a monopoly. So they refused to let him sell his products. Meanwhile, over the ocean, some nerds realized that you might be able to get a similar level of processing power if you stuck a whole bunch of very good microchips together on a big rack with 16 shelves. For this, they used the Huawei Ascend 910C microchip. They realized that this would be a high-powered system, but it would operate very slowly. Then came the brainwave, the breakthrough. The team decided to attach every single one of the 384 processors to every other one using optical connections. That means they use light to transfer data instead of electric cables. Result, virtually instantaneous connections. Thus was born a processing super brain. Now this was given a catchy name, the Cloud Matrix 384. They tested it. Of course, it was bulkier and used more electricity than the NVIDIA system, but they discovered that it could produce more computing power than the NVIDIA processor. Happy ending? Not quite. The megalomaniacs in Washington DC were not happy. They realized that Huawei chips included elements from TSMC in Taiwan. Now that island is legally part of China, but the US is de facto controller of Taiwan. So the US issued an edict saying that Taiwan cannot sell any advanced elements to China. TSMC has reportedly been ordered by the US Department of Commerce to stop all sales and shipments of advanced AI chips to China as of Monday. And no one anywhere in the world can use the Huawei Ascend microchip. All this is an attempt to make problems for the Cloud Matrix 384. It also highlights a problem. Huawei will run out of these elements, sometimes called chiplets, which they need to make the Huawei Ascend chips. So they will have to find a way to make their own. But the Chinese are clever and hardworking, so the assumption is that they will eventually succeed in doing that. It's important for the world that the underdog, China, wins this battle. Why? Because if the US wins, it will use it to grab and hold global AI dominance. The US has literally said that in so many words last week. But if China wins, things will be very different. China's long campaign for a multipolar world connected through trade, and it has an open source attitude to technology. This means that anybody anywhere will be able to use the system, not just people licensed by the US. Huawei is quietly offering the global south what the US has refused for years, a complete end-to-end -end AI supercomputing solution with zero American dependencies, said technology expert William Huo. He says that this will allow creative people across the globe, whether they're in Indonesia or Nigeria or Brazil, to share in the tech revolution. Nations with ambition, talent and data, but hamstrung by Washington's licensing regime and NVIDIA's shipping delays, he said. Imagine unleashing the creative energy of the whole world instead of leaving it in the hands of people like this. So that's the state of play at the moment. And as football commentators say, there's everything to play for. Will the US halt the Cloud Matrix 304 project? Will Huawei develop their own chiplets? Will the US ever stop playing dirty? And start being cooperative. I don't know. Watch this space. Peace.